Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are opening a brand new Daniel Tiger bath time toy to add to our videos. And this toy can be used with real water and Daniel Tiger can actually get wet. Look at the bathtub. It looks like it has real bubbles in it. And some of you may know this already, but Daniel Tiger was inspired by the classic series, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. This was one of my favorite shows growing up. And he was a wonderful man with inspirational messages. All right, it's time to unbox our Daniel Tiger. A few snips here, a few snips there, and there he is. He has a cute little towel that is green, minty green, and it can be removed. It has little froggy eyes on it. So Daniel Tiger, when he wears it, he's a frog tiger. And there's some Velcro at the front to do it up. Oh, and I guess his watch is waterproof, so he can wear it into the bathtub. And when he gets out of the bathtub, he can put on his little blue Tiggy slippers. Tiggy is Daniel's pet. And I love to wear my slippers on a cold day, and especially coming out of the bathtub. The set also comes with a little purple octopus squirt toy. I don't necessarily like to fill squirt toys with water because the water gets trapped and then the inside of the toy gets black mold in it and black mold isn't good for us. So we will just not fill the octopus with water today, but we will fill the bathtub with water. And there's a little tugboat toy as well that Daniel can play with. And we'll take it out of the plastic bubbles. It's yellow, red, and blue. And we'll see if it floats. I'm sure it does. Now all we need is some water. There, and now we can add the toys and see. Oh, the boat floats, but it tips over. And now we can't wear slippers in the bathtub, Daniel, so let's remove those and we can't wear this little towel in the bathtub either and it comes off quite easily and we can move Daniel's legs so that he can sit in the bathtub oh there's an elastic let's take that off and this is our new Daniel Tiger bathtub toy hope you enjoyed and if you love our videos please help us continue to grow by subscribing and push the link below. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are super excited. We got our hands on another lakeside preschool toy called the Tub Town Sea Circus. It's another bath toy that I enjoyed when I was little. Tony and Tara are on their way to show Daniel Tiger and his family around the Tubtown Sea Circus. Enter here, please. Tickets are $5 each. Each ticket includes entry into the aquarium and a ride down one of the slides. Come over and meet our dolphin, Doc. Doc is just a toy dolphin, and we at Tiny Treasures don't support aquariums that use real dolphins and whales for shows. They belong in the ocean. Living in an aquarium can make them sick and very sad. This is Wiggles the whale. He squirts water out of his mouth in the bathtub. This is the Tub Town stage, where Rudy the octopus is the cameraman. Next show, Dog Dolphins. Let's climb up the red ladder to the aquarium. What do you see, tiny fans? We see an octopus, two fish kissing, a turtle, and a scuba diver. Daniel Tiger climbs up the red ladder a little farther. He sees a dolphin, a whale, oh, and there's Tony. Showtime!
It's time to pick a slide. The bright yellow tube slide. Or the long white slide that goes through the whale's mouth. Baby Margaret goes down the yellow tube. Daniel is going to take the sky lift up to the slide. See you later, Tara. Daniel decides to go down the white slide. It's time for a snack. Candy or soda? But Daniel thinks he'll just have some popcorn. But where is baby Margaret? Is she hiding behind the blue door? Silly baby Margaret. Come out and have a snack with us. They sit down at the table and look out at the ocean. There are waves and whales jumping. It's time to go. That's the end of our day, says Daniel's parents. Thanks so much, Tony and Tara. And stay tuned, tiny fans. We'll play with our Tubtown Sea Circus in the bathtub next time. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Tiny Treasures Mini is going to do a video for us today. Sis, it's time to wake up. Good morning, kids. How is your sleep? Good. M Margaret uh, got scared at the night, so she came into my room to stay the night. Uh, Margaret, if you ever are scared, you know you can come to Mom or Dad's room. I know. I just wanted to spend time with my brother. We have some exciting news today. Bluey and Bingo are going to come over for a play date. Yay! Yay! Bluey always makes me laugh. Oh, it looks like they're here. Hi guys, I'm so excited for our play date. What do you want to do, Bluey? I see that cool bus in the back. Can we play with that? Sure, I got it for my birthday last year. What What do you want to do, baby Margaret? Well, I was thinking we can play with my Care Bear I got last year. Her name's Cheer Bear. Oh, I love Cheer Bear because she has is pink and I love rainbows too. This is my Fisher Price school bus. When it rolls, the bus driver's uh, head moves and the eyes on the bus move. And the the stop sign can come open and say stop. And there's even a little bear, I mean dog, on it. Oh, a dog like me! Is that a camera over there? Yeah, do you want me to get it? For us to play with it? Sure! Okay. It's not a real camera. It's a toy camera. Every time you press this little button, like this, you see, look in that little window and you see different images every time you press it down. 
Wow, can I try? Sure. Oh, I see a fish. Oh, and another fish. And then another fish. Oh, it's in the ocean where the coral is. I love the ocean and the coral. I want to show about the coral and all the plastic going into it and we need the coral so and or else the fi fish might die. There's people that go into the ocean and clean up the plastic and some of the plastic they get they turn into bracelets. Oh, that's really nice of them to do that. Guys, it's time to clean up. Your parents will be here soon. How about we sing the cleanup song? Okay. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do the share. Did you see the door doll hiding in the video somewhere? If not, go back and have a look. Thank you for coming to Tar Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and Baby Margaret are going to play with Daniel Tiger's Hot Wheels collection. And they are stored in this rally case that looks like a real car tire. Tiny Treasures Mini built me this little mini car track and I used to play with these orange tracks when I was a kid and I absolutely loved putting them together. Let's see how many cars are inside the case. How many do I have, tiny fans? I have five cars total and they're so tiny, the world's smallest Hot Wheels cars. First, we have this pink car, which I love pink. So this is one of my favorites. And let's see, we have a blue car. And then another blue car that has some of its engine exposed. And then we have the little yellow car, which has the engine on its hood. And finally, the limey green car. We're gonna see which cars can make it around the loop and off the end of the jump. The green car is first. And it made it just barely off of the jump. Oh, the yellow car only made it halfway up the jump. Uh-oh, the blue car didn't even make it around the loop. Let's give it another try. Whoa, that time it made it the farthest. So far, this one's the winner. Oh, oh, the second blue car crashed in the loop too. Let's give it another try. And he made the jump. We only have one more car left. The pink car, will it make it over the jump? Oh, not quite. Sorry, pink car. So the winner is the first blue car. And now it's time to clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. We always clean up our toys when we're done playing with them. That way they don't get lost. And these cars are so tiny, they're safer in the storage case. Now we also have a case like this. Oh, sorry, baby Margaret. We have one upstairs we're going to show you. But first, let's see what Kitty's doing. Oh, hi, Kitty. She is sleeping or not sleeping, but resting on the fuzzy pillow. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, so here is Tiny Treasure Minnie's Hot Wheels storage case. And we open up the front door. That also looks like a tire. Oh my gosh, 
right away I see a special Mater fire truck. And let's see what else is in here. Uh oh, we have a broken truck that's missing a wheel. And let's see, oh, a very old patrol car. It has the number 56 on it. And then there's this fancy orange car. And oh, ooh, a cement mixer truck. The cement is wet in the back of this yellow container. And as the truck moves, this rolls around so the cement doesn't harden and dry up. And let's see. Now, let's close this up. And there's actually a back section to the storage case. So you can store quite a few cars in it. Oh, oh, and they're all organized nicely. And I spotted a little smart car convertible. It's so cute. And these are all electric in the recent years they've been producing these, which electric is better for our air because there's no gas fumes being burned up and no exhaust coming out of your car. No exhaust means cleaner air to breathe. And ooh, this looks like a Lightning McQueen, but it's like a bright yellow. Ooh, it's been used quite a bit. And let's see, oh, this car is yellow, but translucent. So you can see its engine and inside the entire car has silver seats. And then, oh, here's a Lightning McQueen. Number 95. This one I recently used in a video where Lightning McQueen stopped for some yummy snacks. So be sure to look for that video if you haven't seen it already. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, this looks like another character from Cars movie. Not sure who that is. Oh, wow. Look at all of these cars. So many different colors, shapes. This looks like a car from a long time ago. And this door opens. Wow. Well, tiny fans, what was your favorite car? And here's a little game for you. Tell me what toys you see in the close up pictures. It's called Guess What? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the link below. Help our channel grow and continue to support us. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Daniel Tiger is hungry and he's looking for a snack. Which room would he be in? Not one of the bedrooms. Not in the bathroom. Oh, look who's in the living room. Baby Margaret is playing with her Fisher-Price phone. And Mum Tiger is reading her favorite magazine. Who's in the kitchen? It's Daniel Tiger. This is where he gets his healthy snack. He is very excited. Yesterday they went to the local market. The fridge is full of fresh food. Daniel Tiger knows it's better for the earth if they buy local food. It always tastes better too. They have farm fresh eggs, homemade jam, and tons of fruits and vegetables. Let's pull out the drawer and see. Oh, there are some bananas in the fridge. They don't belong there. Let's take the bananas out. They don't need to be refrigerated. Where can we put them? In the silver bowl. Oops, it made the bowl tip over. There we go. What kind of fruits and veggies do you see? I see carrots, cucumbers, mushrooms, tomatoes, a head of lettuce, 
and some lemons. What are you going to have today for a snack, Daniel Tiger? A carrot. He washes his carrot in the sink. But Daniel is still hungry. He decides he would like to have a banana. We go to the local market every week. We have cucumbers, carrots, snap peas, cabbage and tomatoes. The kids love to munch on veggies. I like spinach, beans, pepper, zucchini, and the carrots taste like candy to me. We're going to make a stir fry tonight. We mix all the veggies together and add some noodles. What's your favorite vegetable? Where did Daniel Tiger go? I guess we'll have to search each room in the house. Oh, there he is. He's on the deck with Dad Tiger eating popcorn. Okay, tiny fans. Did you see Daniel Tiger's dog somewhere in the house? Which room? And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We continue our journey in London. We are about to sit down for breakfast. And one very popular item at breakfast time was chocolate hazelnut spread. It tastes yummy, but it's very sweet and full of sugar. It's just a treat once in a while. Whenever Tiny Treasures Minnie has some chocolate spread, sometimes it gets on their face or their clothes. And we want to make sure we do not wipe our faces with our sleeves. That's not what our clothes are meant for. Instead, we use a napkin. Or at home, we use something called a roly-poly. We roll up these little reusable cloths and whenever we're having some messy food, we use the soft cloths to wipe our faces and our hands. And then we throw them in the wash and we can reuse them over and over and not throw anything in the garbage. Here we are at breakfast in London. And of course, there's a little bit of a mess with our chocolate spread. I am having lots of fruit today. I'm not sure what this fruit is. If anyone knows, please tell me in the comments. I have some grapefruit, grapes, and I love pineapple. I want to talk about the chocolate spread more at the end of the video and impacts on our rainforests, so stay tuned. But for now, we're going to explore a little bit more of London and the gardens. What do you see in the tree trunks? Are they faces? They are faces. They have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Although I think I saw one over here with just one eye. Oh, there's a couple faces that are missing an eye. I wonder what happened. In the middle of the garden, there was a huge stone sculpture. It looked like a beehive. Tiny Treasures Minnie and Tiny Treasures followed the brick path. They thought it would lead them to the hive. But then we soon realized they were just all separate circles that went around the beehive. In the back of the garden, I see some bamboo and a bush with bright red berries. It's important not to eat wild berries. They can be poisonous and can make you very, very sick. So we will just look at these berries and not touch them. And down below is a big piece of wood. Oh, and look who's on it. Peppa. Hello, Peppa. If we look closely, there are holes in the wood. That's probably from bugs. Wood like this can be home to many different creatures. Let's take Peppa with us to explore the rest of the garden. How about we follow the path? Oh, 
oh, well, there's a little bench over here made of cement. And another piece of wood and some planter pots. Doesn't look like they are being used for anything. We find some stones with this beautiful greenery in between. So remember, tiny fans, I wanted to talk about the rainforests. Well, in this garden, we found a beautiful wooden sculpture. It's from the rainforest, but it wasn't chopped down. It was just a naturally occurring piece of wood. It wasn't alive. But did you know that people are chopping down our rainforests at a very quick rate? And one of the reasons they're cutting down the trees is for an ingredient called palm oil. It's used in cleaners, soaps, foods, and fuels. Palm oil can also be found in this hazelnut spread. The rainforests are home to many creatures, including orangutans, elephants, tigers, bugs, birds, and valuable plants. And once we cut them down, all of those creatures don't have a home. So what can you do to help save the rainforests? Well, palm oil is used in many foods, cleaning products, soaps, and fuels. Our hazelnut spread has sunflower oil. We make sure it doesn't contain palm oil. You can check the ingredients on your foods and you can make your own cleaning products too, like we do. We even made our own hazelnut spread in one of our videos with the chipmunks. We all need to do our part to take care of our earth. Please say no to palm oil. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.